what is going on Adventure Nation? In this episode, I go out for my second time ever deep sea fishing in probably less than a week. And this one, we got to see all kinds of cool stuff, some dolphins and turtles and all of the, the sea life that you would expect out on a fishing boat. So that was very, very cool. This is TME with Paul Lorena. morning everybody somehow i've been fortunate enough within the same week to do deep sea fishing and i've never done it before in my life this time it's thanks to to cheryl and richard we're all gonna head out do a little bit of fishing today what do you think Hi. Cheryl? i just showed you my behind no i didn't i didn't video that i, I kept kept the camera a little higher than that good morning yes so let's go catch some fish catch some dorado maybe yeah. oh, i'd love to catch some dorado that would, would be, that cool. be amazing that's what we're going out for but that's what happened the last time and that never happened but we did get a couple of marlins so Not anything would thing. be good and if we wind up uh, on the boat just listening to the music and having a few drinks that would be fine too and it'll be aaron's first time deep sea fishing let's so we're fingers crossed he catches a nice big marlin out there today. yes we're bringing cheryl's granddaughter and i the guess new, it would the be new husband new new grandson-in-law grandson-in-law there you yeah. go i didn't know that was a thing but i guess well, it is. We'll just make so it up. they're from <laughs> <laughs> Missouri and they're going to come out today as well and then we've got Spencer on the boat with us as well they're a friend of Richard their Cheryl, friends in Los Brillas so yeah this is going to be good today we're going out on bite me again is the name of the boat so this should be good it's going to be excellent I sat and watched all those videos oh I'm sorry I love watching those and you would <laughs> What start of a fishing boat trip would it be if we didn't sit right back in here and tell tale of a fateful trip that started from this tropic port aboard this tiny ship? He is the crazy. weather started getting rough. The tiny ship was tossed, but not for the courage of the fearless crew, the middle would be lost every freaking time. Fight me again, yes. Should be back here somewhere. There you go. pretty freaking cool. I have never seen dolphins that big, that close to the boat. It was very cool. And they're all still right all around us here. We've just slowed down a little bit, a lot of birds around. So I think they're gonna throw the lines in and uh, get the fishes. Being out in the water is incredible. All right, Aaron's in the chair, man. Yeah, buddy. Picture, it's a sport fish. Take a picture, let it go. Are you a proud wifey? I am a proud wifey. Yes. <laughs> and a proud grandma.
But if you get, I mean, if we can get a picture, that'd be great. But. Okay. But. Get him on the boat for a picture, and then we'll. I know. We we seen a hook. We seen a we seen a lot of blood in the eel. Okay. So so he's gonna he's gonna release it before it gets on the boat. No, it's on the gill. Is it? Is it? Dude, this is a freaking huge fish. Huge fish. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Here, let me let me down, Spencer. I want I want uh, him to be able to see it. He's in the gill, the hook. Yeah. Here, here. Yeah. Outside, the heel is who's for release. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Yeah! Woo! There you go! Yes. Yeah, man. <laughs> that is crazy. That is crazy. So normally when you catch a marlin, you're just going to release it. This particular one swallowed the hook in a really bad way and was bleeding like crazy when it got to the boat. It wasn't going to survive if they let it go. So this particular one we brought on board. Uh, it's not something they normally do. They normally catch and release. Uh, this one would not have made it back out of the wild, unfortunately. And so it had to be had to be brought on board. And, uh, and it's going to be dinner for somebody. But a badass fish. We were just on our way back in and all these boats are in this area because there's a bunch of porpoise, dolphin, so I guess that means tuna. I don't know if we're going to fish for that or not, but it looks like there's a bunch of dolphin. Holy smokes. There's got to be a couple hundred here. They are starting to bounce this again. There are so many everywhere around the boat. Holy smokes. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. That's crazy. Yeah. My huge pod. <laughs> Like 200 of them? Oh my God, or more? Or a thousand? Holy smokes, that's insane. I've never seen that many all in one place. enjoyed coming out with us on the boat for the day if this is your first time here it'd be awesome if you hung out with us a little bit got to know us and that means you should hit that subscribe button it would be equally as cool if you like the video and we'll see you in the next one hopefully you could hear me with the wind and the waves and all the stuff going on I'm trying to hide behind our ATV here but I don't know how that works to see if it's windy up here that's it's a little it's a little windy